Aquatic Mine! <laughs> but I didn't expect the inside of the mines to be like this. This is gonna be tougher than I thought. Yes it is, Knuckles, because this level actually really does kind of suck. Oh, by the way, guys, welcome back. On the minecart tracks. Now, the thing about this level is, um... Do you remember in Super Mario 64, that one level that had all the alternating water levels? Well, this level also does that. And it goes between three instead of, like, ten, but... So the first thing we have to do is figure out what water level this gym is on. And then after we figure that out, we'll have a better idea of... Okay, so it's in here somewhere, I'm guessing. Yep, there it is. Good. Under the vertical line of skulls. That's going to be one of the deeper ones, I think. Uh, and that is a platform that will go down if we lower the water level again. So let's see here. Let me check the upper level really quick, just to make sure we're not getting any dings. Uh, but we need to raise the water to go back upstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Oh. Where did I get that ding at? Right here, okay. So it's... It's around here somewhere. But not quite around there. Okay, I got it. I know where this is. We need to bring the water back down to second level, first of all. And then we need to go over, and I think I can jump down. Yep. That's what I thought. And there's a vertical line of skulls in here. Somewhere. And it should be, like, right next to it. Son of a bitch. Right here? Come on. Oh, right there. There we go. Got it. Okay, so it was on the ground. Alright, I'll remember that for next time. It's moving and it's surrounded by blue lights. This is going to be another one of the weird ones, I'm guessing. It's not going to be in here. Usually this level does the same thing the Pumpkin Hill does, where it gives you an emerald per water level, but not all the time. Okay, this one is looking like it's going to be upstairs. Let's hit number one. Move over here. Eh. Huh. It's close. Hey, stop moving. Stop moving. Come back here. I found him. Yay. That was pretty fast. We made decent time on that one. I feel good. I feel good. Na 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 na. Could if I would. Na 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 na. I forgot to mention something. Um, every time you look or use a hint, it takes a little bit off your score too. Sheesh. There always seems to be a lot of police around when you don't need. At least I think it does. Tails. Any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the emeralds into outer space. Outer space? Knuckles! Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the master emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckles! I managed to find the transcripts between Eggman and the President in the government computer. I'm following the President's limo right now! If we get into the limo, we can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there! Hey! Wait for me, Tails! 
Route 101. Okay, this is a weird level. There's a level like this in the Dark Campaign, too, where we basically get to do a kart racing minigame. And that's pretty much what it is. It's just a kart racing minigame. Now, the controls for these carts is a little finicky. It's kind of hard to take some corners. But I'll try to remember exactly <laughs> how it works. I know you get a boost. So it's probably more like F-Zero controls. Okay, there we go. You can drift. You drift with an X, the X button, accelerate with the A button. So I guess Tails likes hacking government computers for some reason. <laughs> He's like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. We can just go hack the president's computer and we'll figure out where Dr. Eggman is. Oh, boy. Oh, God! That's one of the tight turns I hate. Another funny thing is, um, you can hit these cars and it doesn't really... Oh, another really tight turn! Ah! You can hit these cars and it makes them go flying. Because the physics is just kind of like, you know what? <laughs> I, I choose to make no sense. We might as well make it hilarious. I think the more rings you get, the faster you end up going. But I don't quite remember that. Because I know it gets harder to control the more rings you get. I'm assuming that's because you're going faster, but... Eh, that's probably what it is. It never really explains that. We might do some kart racing for fun later, though. More like half a minute if I'm going at the rate I'm going here. There's a point in this route where actually you can die from flying off the side of the um, highway. And I think I've already passed it though. It's easier to do in Rouge's version of this level, which we'll get to later. Um, than it is in Tails' version. Tails' version is actually a little easier than hers. Hers is actually kind of designed to kill you. Oh! Oh god. This is more of an introduction to, um... the kart racing. I don't remember exactly what these balloons are doing. I I'm assuming they're giving me rings, but... I can't be sure. And already we've gotten to the end of the level. It took about three minutes. There's just this long stretch. And then the limo! To the limo! Eee! There we go. Yeah! I found the president! Yeah! I found the president! He doesn't have any escort at all! Or flags on his car. I don't know how that's a C-ring. But I, I didn't make that many mistakes. At least I thought I didn't. It might take off points if you... Um, run into cars, but I just wanted to do it to be funny. Car racing is now available with three courses. I thought there were only two courses, but I guess not. Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. My god, that secretary President, has a massive this ass. Is a national crisis. Seriously, rewind the video. <laughs> Spare me the details. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Eggman? <laughs> well, let's just get down to business then, shall we, Mr. President? I won't bore you with all the details since I know you are a very busy man. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise... Otherwise... Otherwise, your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! What the? Vandalism! Sonic Man Empire! Yeah, right! What the heck's going on here? Oh, no worry, no. Mr. President. What did you Everything's do? under control. Just leave it to us. Got it, Tails? Transmitting from the space colony, Ark! Okay, let's move it! 
You know, guys, you could have just followed the path of the laser beam because it was really obvious where it came. We're receiving an incoming signal okay. from our agent. No, that's fine. No, you, you hack the president's car. That's easier. Inside that pyramid? I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, I saw that Batgirl go inside with him as well. How's that more important, you Knuckles? You saw them too, right? Well, yeah! We should be able to get into outer space from Selfish there. Selfish ass. I don't know what this space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that cannon, and then kick their Imperial butts. All right. I'll go and find the entrance! <laughs> Tails will go first to do the grunt work, hidden base. Alright. This is one of the new desert levels that we're gonna do. There's gonna be a lot of more desert themed levels all of a sudden. I don't know why there's government vehicles here, but you'd think they'd be helping us by now. Quit that. Hey! Quit that! Stop. Okay. Hey. We're gonna be running into a lot of Eggman themed things up in here. And back in the olden days, uh, during the first Sonic games, whenever you killed an enemy, it popped a little animal out. Well, we're gonna be starting running, we're gonna start running, be starting running, I can't grammar. We're gonna start running into a lot of Eggman's drones that do not work off of Chaos Drives, they work off of animals. So we're gonna actually be getting a lot more animals with tails now. And I want to break open all these walls so I don't miss something. Because I think there's going to be a, an upgrade behind one of these. I should show you one of these hieroglyphs, too. On, um... I didn't get a good look at it then because I was kind of... Oh, shit! I was kind of busy. But there's a pretty hilarious looking hieroglyph there that I just blew up that has like a naked Dr. Eggman <laughs> posing or something it's really weird I hate those number fours I wonder if I can make the jump from here I'm trying to make the jump from here Ooh! there we go Destruction and chaos, destruction and chaos. Oh no! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Okay. And my first death is recorded. Oh god, I was in the middle of firing, so I didn't have a chance to boost. That was horrible. I knew it was gonna happen eventually with Tails. Son of a bitch! No! God dang it! Oh, I'm on a roll now. I died once, and so now it's gonna be every five minutes. Jeez. It's not like this game gets hard, it's just like, I get kind of impatient, and I start doing stupid things like this. I didn't even explain how Tails' uh, health bar works. You might have noticed the little bar at the bottom. Um, basically, when Tails gets rings, that bar fills up uh, every, I think, ten rings or so. It's got a little counter there, so you can see how many rings we need to get another health boost. It's not the same way uh, Sonic and Knuckles work, though. And here's a lot of animals. Oh, otters! I freaking love otters! Urgh, get all the otters! And penguins! Oh my god. Okie dokie. Where are we going now? Uh, let's go up. Because I can show you this hieroglyph over here. Looks ridiculous. Oh, actually, it's uh, Dr. Eggman as a sphinx. I thought it was a naked pose for some reason. Oh, God. I'm probably. I'm actually glad it was not what I thought it was, because that would have been kind of nasty. These are a little annoying. I gotta lock onto all of the things, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's cool. We just got a shit ton of penguins. And I saw that chow box down there. I'm gonna grab that. Eh. Yep, yep, yep. We're getting, we're getting a lot of swim animals for it being in the middle of the desert. I was expecting a lot more of the power variety to be out here. 
Eh. I didn't explain that either. Um, all of the upgrades are color coded. So the yellow ones are swim. The red ones are power. The green is it green? I think green ones are run speed. Ah. And the purple ones are fly. Let me see what color the runs are. Nah, actually, I haven't run across any of the runs yet. That's probably good. I have been eating a lot of pizza lately. I would hate to get the runs. Yuck, 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 yuck. That was a horrible joke, I'm sorry. Get through this little maze. Okay, over here, and over here. I think eventually we're going to end up getting an upgrade on this level. I would assume that that would be the case. Oh, by the way, when you get up close with Tails, which you should never ever do, um, his attack changes to a propeller punch attack. And that does a pretty good amount of damage, but usually it puts you in too much danger to use it. In that case, I just wanted to show it off a little bit, just to, just to show you it's there. Eggman's version is a boxing glove, though. It's pretty fun. Eh. Huh. Up, up. Over that platform, I think we blew up a lot of enemies up here on accident. The cool thing about this, uh, the animals being put in these little green balls is they break eventually and come crawling over to you. And I think we have a lot more things we can target out here. Okay, combo! Okay. Oh, I didn't get enough. Oh, well. That was fun. I did it! You did it! I died twice and had a B rank. That's surprising. Okay. Well, anyway. That's good. Um Best way to invade a evil mastermind's for fortress is apparently with a giant mech. So let's go ahead and feed all these things to our little buddy, wherever he might be. Hey. Hey. Everything will be okay. Now, I'm going to quietly put you over here. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. Here. Here. Eat your, eat your otter. Eat it. Eat your other otter. You otter eat these. I don't know why they're green. Are otters normally green? They're not normally green, are they? That's, that's, that's an exclusive to this game, apparently. I don't know why I ask that. I know otters aren't green. I do like how they have a little clam with them, though. Every single one of them has a tiny pink clam. Here, eat your tiger. Consume your tigers! He's gonna look adorable in a second, because we have enough tigers to get him all of the little markings. Oh, he's adorable! We have penguins, though. This is gonna make everything look weird. Oh my god, he's got giant eyebrows. And flippers. Uh, do we have anything else to feed him? Do I feed you... Oh, now I can give you another tiger. <laughs> but he gets to keep his eyebrows. Yay! That's awesome. You look amazing, little thing. Except for your weird, disformed feet. And your eyebrows. Great. Alright, back to the game. Pyramid Cave! Oh, this is a fun level with Sonic. I love this. This level has a lot of rings on the walls that you can kind of loop through for bonuses. Like, here, I'll try to do it with that one. With this one. This one. Oh! Also, the music is awesome in this level. I'm trying to be as good as I can be with these. 
Huh? Oh, come on, come on, come on. I think I got this one. Huh? Oh, I missed it. No, actually, I think I got it. No, I didn't get it. This level also features the hourglasses, which are in most of the pyramid levels. Doors close when time is up. We'll be running into more of those on other levels. I'm gonna skip that chow box for now. I'll get another one later. I'm not super concerned about that. I wanna make good time. If I can. Even though I'm pretty sure we're gonna be getting one of our upgrades on this level. Yep, there it is. This is a very needed upgrade for me. The bounce bracelet. Press the B button while in mid-jump to use the bounce attack. Press the B button again to jump higher. This has more uses than just being able to jump higher. Um, for example, you can use the bounce bracelet to... Here, let me actually get this chow box. I'll go ahead and get it. Eh. You can use the chow... the uh, bounce bracelet to stick to rails. And I'll demonstrate that when we start doing more rail mechanics. And another thing we're going to have to play with on this level is keys! Luckily, they automatically sort of drift to the hole instead of making you, you know, do all the other nonsense. But that was an example of sticking to a rail with the bounce bracelet. Here, I'll do it again on this one. Ah, quit it! Hey, get off it! Quit it! Alright, let's see if I can do it. Bounce! Yeah, there we go. I'm jumping off here. I think we can go over and grab this key. And then we're gonna... Oh, God. Totally fell for that trap. Eh. We need to make it all the way back without getting shot. I've been doing good about keeping my rings thus far. Eh. Uh, get the boost! There we go. Door's open! I already found it. You can stop talking now. Ghosties, go away! Whew. Barely made that one. Okay. Yeah! That was awesome! I saw the first ring, but I didn't see the rest of the line. Okay, let's see here. Oh, no! No, 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 no! That's not what I wanted. Obviously, it's not what I wanted. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, crap. It's gonna reset us back to the beginning. Are we gonna try this again? I wanna kinda go to the other entrance up there if I can. No! Go away! Bad ghost. Since we've already activated that one, I'm just going to speed along and avoid all these ghosts, and then at the very end here, I'm going to try to go up the side of the wall. Not there. I think here. Eh. Yep. Yep. Oh, crap. I didn't make it. Ah. I really want to get this, because something interesting happens if you get those last two rings. But I'm not going to waste too much time on it. Stop it! Ass. <laughs> that little um, line of rings that brought us through the top was actually supposed to give us a <laughs> giant speed boost that I won't get now. Also, my time on this level is going to be horrible because of all these things. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, dang it. And we didn't make it in time either. Ugh. Annoyance! Annoyance! You have to keep doing this! We'll get it eventually. Stop it! Ah! Hate you guys! You know what? You know what? That's what the bounce bracelet's for. Never mind. We're getting away from these bastards. No! No! Stop it! No! Stop it! No! God damn it! Stop it! I see you following me! Ah, oh, crap. Again? Are you kidding me? <sighs> There's gotta be a way to do this better. I used to be really good at doing this. I've never gotten hung up on this part before. 